everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley and I'm currently trying to lose 100 pounds and in today's video we'll be doing three healthier treat options for a sweet tooth so let's get into the first recipe so in this pot I have two tablespoons of 100% pure maple syrup I use this one it's organic and then I have a quarter cup of pecans the stove is on medium heat and I'm just waiting for the pecans and maple syrup to combine and get caramelized. So this is the final product. I baked the sweet potato in the oven for about an hour. I topped it with some cinnamon and I topped it with that pecan mixture. It gets crunchy, it's sweet, it really helps your uh, sweet tooth if you have one. You can also do it with mash. but Today I decided just to keep the sweet potato whole because it works just the same. For my second favorite healthier treat, I have a banana oatmeal muffin. So I just blended up some oats to make an oat flour. I have two eggs in here and then a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of vanilla. Then I have one full banana. It was frozen originally, but it will work just the same. Then I have a half a cup of honey. And this one's optional. You can add any other fruit if you rather, but this is just a little bit. So I added a one third cup of chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna blend this all up and I'll show you what the consistency looks like when it's there. So this is what my batter looks like right now. So I'm going to put it in a preheated oven for, at 350 for probably about 30 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. And this is the finished product of the oatmeal chocolate chip muffins. It's going to be really good and I'm so excited to try one. So for my last healthier treat I am making chocolate granola. So I have right here three cups of oats, one fourth cup of coconut oil but you could also use all avocado oil or olive oil any kind of oil really and then I have uh, one third cup of almond butter but again you can switch it out for peanut butter sun seed butter like pretty much anything then I have one cup of nuts you can use almonds which is what I use I use almonds and pecans here but you can also put in any seeds or nuts that you like then I have half a cup of maple syrup and then I have half a cup of uh, cocoa powder. So I'm just going to put on the stove the oil, almond butter, and maple syrup. I'm going to blend them together and then I'm going to mix it all in the bowl and I'll show you what happens after that. Okay, so the oats, the nuts, and the cocoa powder are all mixed up. So now I'm just going to pour the oil, almond butter, and maple syrup on top of it. And then I'm going to mix that together, put it on a baking sheet, put it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350. And you'll have delicious granola. So this is my chocolate granola. It just came out of the oven, so it's nice and hot. You can also sprinkle some chocolate chips on top and then just let it melt. But just so you know, a serving size is half a cup of this. Don't overdo it since it is high in fat, but it is still pretty healthy for you either way. Just make sure you don't overdo it on the portion size. As you can probably tell from this video, I do like my chocolate. And it's even better when it's only like a little bit of chocolate and there's still nutritional benefit to it. And plus I don't eat like eat chocolate all the time so it's not too bad. But I also came up with a schedule for when I'm going to be posting videos so stay tuned. I'll be posting every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And probably every other Sunday. Or maybe even every Sunday depending. But yeah so those three days for sure. So make sure you subscribe. And click that bell notification so you get notified every single time I make a video. Bye!